The search warrant used to raid the Marion County record last week withdrawn by the county attorney saying it happened with insufficient evidence. Computers and cell phones seized are being returned. The KBI has taken over the investigation. Seized but not silenced. This is the headline splashed across the front page of the Marion County record in its first publication since the raid. KSN Zena Taher spoke to the editor about the latest issue. Julia, the raid thrust the town into international headlines. In its first issue back, the staff felt they had to address what everyone is talking about. Driving nearly an hour from Emporia, Mick McGuire is one of thousands of new subscribers to the Marion County record. This is big news, you know, for uh, Kansas, for anywhere, but definitely for uh, Marion, Kansas, this is, this is pretty big news. This is unprecedented. It's astounding that something like this could happen in just a what, 2,000 population small town. Locally, the paper's also seeing a lot of support. Staff writer Phyllis Zorn says she's seen a wave of concern. Even people who have been here who have been hostile toward the newspaper or toward me personally have all come up and said how supportive they are. The paper's publisher Eric Myers says he wants to bring people's focus back to local issues. We would have probably written about the budget situation in Marion this week, uh, which we think is the topic people should be talking about right now. He says the paper had less stories than normal this week, and he hopes to return to more enterprising stories in the future. I spoke with several people living in Marion who say they're not too concerned about how this will impact the town's reputation. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.